Right, hello, I'd like to just go over how to use the oil pastels for your cubism project. You have a, a set of oil pastels that you can use and I want you to try and do some geometric shapes that have blends and bold outlining. And what I mean by blends is taking two colors, just do a simple geometric shape here and fill it, like load the paper up and you are gonna get some of these little crumblies. Crumblies do happen, just make sure they stay on your paper so they don't wander off and make a big mess. And let's say I'm going to blend yellow and orange together. And you'll notice I'm working on a dark piece of paper that helps the oil pastel to really stand out. And I'm thickly putting these two together. And you can go back and forth a little bit and it mixes almost like a paint. They smear together that way. You don't want to use your fingers to smear them or you'll end up with more on your finger than what's on the paper. And you want the oil pastel to be applied thickly for this cubism project. So another thing you can blend together is maybe a color and you can make a tint shade or tone. So you can blend a color, whoops, with a neutral. Oh, so sometimes you have to peel back your oil pastel paper, no big deal. So I'm going to make a tint. Do you remember if a tint is adding white, gray, or black? Right, a tint is when you add white to a color. So if I wanted to make a lighter green, I can just kind of loosely blend some white and some green together. And it gives it that painted look that you want for for cubism, kind of loose and messy. You also want to make sure you do some bold outlining. So what would show up on black paper, maybe a light color for outlining. Yeah, that looks okay. The blue kind of goes too much with my light green. Well, maybe I'll do a double outline. Maybe I'll get a dark blue and I'll outline twice. And these colors can blend together too. Hmm, maybe I'll outline this yellow orange with, I don't know, maybe some gray. So you can use that to emphasize your geometric shapes. Get some bold outlining on there. I'm going to double outline this one too. So lots of blending, lots of outlining, and thickly use those oil pastels. And remember those little crumbs I talked about. Keep them on your paper, and then you'll want to take them to the trash and dump them out because each one of these little crumbs can smear to become a big mess on your table. So make sure you take care of those crumbs too. Have fun using your oil pastels.